we have moved outside right now. This is kind of unexpected. There are people behind us with chainsaws who but are it's doing a good some thing. really fantastic work all out of wood. It's really wood carving that's that's amazing. We're going to be talking with Bill Shout and Barb Geiges. And uh, Ron was out here earlier, and now it's our turn. It is our turn. And you actually found some chainsaws for us, which I am very excited about. You've been hard at work. Barb, I want to ask you first what you've been working on here. Um, yep. This is going to be a pumpkin. Um, it, when it's finished, um, it'll be sanded and then painted. I'll add a stem, and it'll look like the ones One over them. there. So these last forever. <laughs> so for the season, they, you know... And they can be kept out until Thanksgiving. And I love that you guys paint them, and they really, to look at them over here, you wouldn't necessarily know from a distance they're even wood. Correct. Yeah. Correct. How did you guys get into this? So, um, I, my dad was a carpenter, always enjoyed wood. Um, and then um, I met Bill, and he was a chainsaw carver. And I said to him, hey, teach me how to run that saw. And he told me, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're going to teach me how to run the saw. Uh, yeah, but then um, I convinced him enough that we end up, he yeah, should. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and we want to come over yeah. here. Bill, uh, tell us a little bit about what you're making over here. It's obviously a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, it is a jack-o'-lantern, and we make a lot of these. And actually, we'll be at Sorgles uh, this coming next weekend for their fall festival. And that's really how I got started making it a business. I used to just car for my family, and I was friends with one of the Sorgle girls, and and said, hey, what if I carve pumpkins at your place? And it was a big hit. And then we've been there for 10 years now. So Are people able to buy the pumpkins? Yes, Do it, Get yeah. their hands yeah. dirty? Yeah. Pumpkin like this is around the jack lanterns are like 85 bucks. And we have pumpkins that range from like 45 to 70 bucks a lot of times. This gets flowers in it or lights or whatever you like. Oh, okay. and people, of course, can watch yeah, you guys and, work. And the trick is you spin it around, right? And it's a regular pumpkin, so now you can keep it till Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Ah, I like the way you think. Dual okay, purpose. I'm going to come back over here to talk yeah. with Barb because, like I said, you found, you found me a chainsaw that I think is just my size. Exactly. Let me just get All right, this is, I need to get pictures of this so, on my phone. It's very <laughs> simple to work. Just hold the lever down and pull the trigger, and maybe you can get something to go with this. <laughs> is it plastic? It is. It is a toy. A <laughs> yeah. You're just kidding. I am. Oh, okay. I, so I'm not going to use the mini. No. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to let me try, though, weren't you? I was. <laughs> All right, I kind of want to do try, but do I need, like, we, safety we goggles or something? Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. You're so funny. All right. Barb. I've got to put my notes down in here. Let's see. Glasses go on first. So these glasses go on first, okay. There you go. All right. Ears ready. You feeling okay. comfortable with that? Yes, I have a very big head. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's so good. So what you're going to do, you're just going to take this saw yeah. and just follow this edge right around the top like that. Follow okay? the edge. Okay. Uh, you don't want to get your tip where it's going to flip this way or flip that way. So you kind of want to go to yeah, yeah, keep the tip out of the wood and you'll be safe. Okay. This is my absolute favorite saw I'm going to let you use, right? Okay. I okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Feel the power? Oh, I do feel the power. Oh, Hang at it and not me. <laughs> I'm actually I'm very thankful that Barb brought a toy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you got, 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 got no yeah. <laughs> you, you no idea what you were doing. <laughs> okay, so you guys will be set up at Sorgles. Where can people find you on the farm grounds? Oh, you know, right by the cider press, up on top of the hill. You can't miss us. We got a big display. Actually, we have a giant Santa Claus. You want to bring your kids to get their picture taken? And a, and a, yeah, and a Sasquatch with holding like a big rock for the kids to get their picture taken. And uh, I want to shout out to my buddy Luke Sassoni. He helped us make those projects. He's a really great artist. And uh, me and him come up with the designs and put it all together so the kids have something nice to sit on and get their picture taken. Okay, and so you'll be there this weekend and next, next correct? Weekend. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Both Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Saturday and Sunday, that's correct. All right, fantastic. All right. And well, I believe Bill, that starts at 11 o'clock, correct? Uh, yes, it yeah. does. 11 to 5. Yep. Bill All right. and Barb, you guys make some great things, and I really appreciate you letting me get the feel of the chance. <laughs> you thought you were having fun. I was. Okay. I could go back. The club. And, and be your there you go. It's okay. all good. Yeah. Next year, we'll have a full-size statue of David Highfield to sell off. <laughs> All right.